Hi everybody! It's Judy and Dave. Oh, We're yeah. back. <laughs> We're back. We've missed you guys so much. We want to say hi and share a little bit of time with you today. It's Halloween as we record this. Are you all ready for trick-or-treating? It's been so long. Have there been changes in your family at all? Any new babies? Yeah? Are you in preschool now? And maybe you've moved up in grade school? It's great. Dave and I have aged a little bit, haven't we, Dave? We've aged yeah. well, yeah, since we saw you last time. So we're going to do a little Sunday school lesson with you today. We're going to start with our hello song. I want you to echo after me. It's the I am here and you are there because I'm here and you are there still. Pretty soon we'll be back together. But sing after me. I'll say a line and then you repeat it back to me, okay? I am here. recording and I have a cold can you tell it's a little hard to sing but I'll do my best and I hope you sing along with me then you can't hear me so much it's so fun let's sing another song Dave let's sing a song that makes us happy to be together it's called I'm gonna sing so you're gonna to need to stand up for this one get your actions ready we're gonna jump we're gonna clap but first we're just gonna sing okay get ready to talk. Gonna sing when the spirit says sing. Oh. Gonna sing when the spirit says sing. Oh. Gonna sing when the spirit says sing. Oh. And obey the spirit of the Lord. Let's clap. Gonna clap when the spirit says clap. Gonna clap when the spirit says clap. Gonna clap when the spirit says clap. I'm gonna shout when the spirit says shout. Gonna shout when the spirit says shout. Yippee! Shout when the spirit says shout. Wow! And oh may the spirit of the Lord. And oh may the spirit of the Lord. That's such a fun one. It gets you moving, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about our Bible verses today. In your lesson, and this is for October 31st in your Sunday School packet, they talk about Mark 12, and it's actually the, the 30th verse in that chapter. A man, Jesus is out preaching, and a man comes up to him and he says, Jesus, you've given us, and we've gotten the Ten Commandments, the list of all the commandments we should follow. And we want to know, I want to know, which one is the most important? Which one should we follow the most? And Jesus said, you should follow the commandment that says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Have you heard those words before, you guys? There's a song that we've sung at church with those exact words. In fact, Dave and I did a little research because we're researchers, aren't we, Dave? Yeah. And we research a lot, yep. And we found those words in three different songs. We're going to sing two of them today. We're going to sing the one that you guys know from church. So sing along with me. I'll do the actions. I've got a new action. This is sign language for soul. Like that. Okay? Take a deep breath. Hope I can get these words out. It's my cold. Love the Lord your God.
one, don't you? It's such a great song. It's a really, really wonderful one. And it comes right out of Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Okay, Dave's going to come up here now, and he's... Oh, wait, we have to talk about your craft. I forgot about that. Almost forgot about that. Okay, in your packet, you should have gotten mailed what's called a little pillow, a little paper pillow uh, packet like this. Take that and we're going to make a mezuzah. A mezuzah is something that the Jewish tradition follows. It, this mezuzah literally means doorpost, and they place these on the doorpost, and inside of them go a verse of their choosing. I'm not sure if it's a specific one. We're going to put in the verse that we just read. It's from Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9, and it has the words, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And that will go in there. The reminder of that is that Jesus, or God, is with us all the time, everywhere and always. So you can take your little packet. I decorated mine. Can you see I put a little heart for love? And I wrote mezuzah on the bottom of it. And I wrote love the Lord on the top. I don't know if you can see that. You can decorate yours however you want. And you can put it on your refrigerator door with the magnets. It'll stick on there. Like, can I do it on the music stand? Oh, it's not sticking on the music stand. Okay, so there's the, your activity, your little art project that you can do with the mezuzah. All right, Dave, we're going to switch places after I mask up. I'm going to clean my keyboard too. Yeah, right and on the mask up. What do you call Make that? Sure again, take that that's called a glissando, Dave. He's been really good at glissandos in the last year, hasn't he? Just keep it clean. There you go. Thank you, Dave. Hi, everybody. I'm going to settle in and, you know how in church we have various readings. In the Lutheran church, we frequently have an Old Testament reading, right? We have an epistle, which means letter, that Paul wrote to one of the churches, like the church at Corinth, the church at Rome, the church wherever. And we also have the gospel. Can't have church without the gospel, right? It just wouldn't make any sense, would it? So we're going to have two readings today, Okay. Two readings today, and the first one is from the Spark Story Bible. Let's get a look at that. Remember that one, Judy? Mm -hmm. Spark Story Bible. And this one is called A Message from God. A Message from God. All right, and uh, I'm going to read it with you here. Judy's got a little music for us. That sounds lovely. Oh, and I can pull my mask down because I'm farther than six feet away from Judy. Judy is vaccinated. I am vaccinated. And we're keeping our space even so. Right, Judy? Okay. Moses was talking to the Israelites before they moved into their new country. Moses said, come here. I have a message from God. A message from God. Everyone turned to listen to Moses. This is what God says, said Moses. There is only one God, and we are part of God's family. Love God with everything you say, everything you think, and everything you do. The people nodded. They were thankful for the new country that God was giving them. But how would they remember God in this new home? What if they forgot? Moses said, teach your children about God. Talk about God at home, when you go to places, at bedtime, and in the, and in the morning. Remember, we belong to God. Moses was right. The people told their children stories about God while they kept traveling. They were moving to a new country, and they were God's family. And you're part of God's family too, right? Not just friends, but heirs. Do you know what an heir is? That means you're like your son or a daughter or one of the children, and you're part of God's bigger family. Judy, uh, I need to grab my folder back here. Excuse me. It's been a while since we did this, folks, so I'm a little rusty. I forgot. Oh, I need my notes and all that. Judy's playing 
old timey, older than me. So that's super old. Song from 18, uh, 1800s, right, Judy? Mm -hmm. The music is from the 1800s, and the words are from what? Deuteronomy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. It's the fifth, fifth book of the Old Testament of our Bible, okay? And it goes like this. You listen to the words. You might recognize them, right, Judy? Love God with all your soul and strength, with all your heart and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Be faithful, just, and kind. So that song says, love God with all your soul, strength, heart, and mind. That's what Jesus told one of the people who asked him what the greatest commandment was. And Jesus added, and love your neighbor as yourself, right? Do the same things you would do for your neighbor that you would want them to do for you. And be faithful, just, and the most important one of that one, Judy, kind. Be kind. Show some kindness, right? Uh, so we had our reading from the Spark Story Bible. Pastor also has another children's Bible, Judy, that she shares with some of our younger friends. And it's got some pretty good ways of looking at the language of the Bible and making it a little more understandable for us. What's the most important thing to remember? Listen up, Judy. You're going to find out the most important thing to remember, okay? Uh, this particular version of, of our uh, Young People's Bible says, There are so many things to remember. Eat healthy snacks. Brush your teeth before bed, and don't forget to floss. Flossing is really important. Look both ways before crossing a street. Also good advice. And then there are really important things to remember about how God wants us to live in this world. Try saying this, and you can say it from back there, Judy. I know you're far away, but try saying, Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael. Let's try it one more time. Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael. It's Hebrew. It's the Hebrew language. And it means, hear, O Israel. Like, hear. Well, hear what? Here's what we're being asked to hear and remember, according to this version. Listen. Shh. Our God is the Lord. Don't think anything or anyone else can be your God. God is God. Love God with all your heart. Love God with everything you have. Remember these words. Tell them to your children. Or in this case, tell them to your parents. Am I right, children? Yes. Remember to love your God everywhere. When you're far away from home, when you're at school, when you're at work, when you're at home, remember those words to love God when you get up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night. If you can't remember them, it's like sometimes we forget things. If you can't remember them, write them down so that you won't forget. That's what Judy was talking about with the mezuzah. They took the uh, commandment, if you will, or the invitation, right, to love God with all your heart and all your uh, might and all your soul. They took that and actually wrote it by hand and put it in a mezuzah, all right? Uh, God loves us so much, and God wants us to love God back. So let's not forget that and think about the ways that we can show God how big that our love is, okay? The most important thing to remember. Hey, Judy, you were playing the old love, love song, weren't you? Yeah, I kind of changed the words around. Let's do try that one, uh, Judy, right? And um, you can clap along, too. It goes like this. Love, love, love. Look it up one more time, Judy. Love, 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 love. Jesus tells you to love our God with all your heart and all your strength and all your soul. My soul went out of the, out of the ceiling, Judy. It's moved on, my soul has. Judy, you know what could be hard, though? Hmm. If you're using all your strength, right, and you're yeah. using all your heart and all your soul and all your mind, do you ever study or work hard on something and your brain kind of hurts? Yeah. 
A little bit? You've done that, right, Judy? Never. No, well, so maybe you see, Judy has a healthy brain. But you know how it is. You study really hard, you do so, you concentrate really hard. Sometimes your brain actually hurts. So, how, how do you keep going? Well, you just have to never give up. And there's a song that Pastor Barbara taught us. Remember, Judy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It goes like this. Do, do, do. Bamba, bamba, le, la. Do you remember singing with me? One word. Bamba, le, la. Bamba, le, la. Oh, bamba, le, la. Bamba, le, la. Bamba, 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 bamba. Bamba, bamba, le, la. Judy, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to snap and clap and snap and clap like this. Never give up. Never give up. Oh, never give up. Never give up. What? Bamba, 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 bamba. Layla means never give up. Don't give up. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and all your strength. Okay? And you know what? Maybe if we keep doing that, we might be able to get ourselves a little bit of shalom. Shalom, Judy. Shalom. Shalom, my friends. Thank you for uh, being with us today. And we'll, we'll see you next month in a similar recorded fashion, okay? Take care. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bambalela. Bambalela. Oh, Bambalela. Bambalela. Bye, everybody.